Images of Ireland adorn the walls of the Irish American Heritage Museum in Albany. This week was their grand opening. Well, at 370 Broadway, anyway. The museum is uh, actually in its 26th year. It's been located in East Durham, New York, up until uh, a year ago this past summer when we closed. Jeff Cleary is the museum's executive director. He says the board always wanted a location in downtown Albany, and with the help from the city, they were able to bring some Dublin to downtown. This really is a great thoroughfare here, and, and, and it's an up-and-coming area uh, in Albany, and, and, and we have a rich history of different types of museums, and we're just happy to be part of it. So, every picture tells a story, but in this case, we'll let Jeff tell a couple. Well, this was from 1963, and you see this old fellow here uh, down on his luck. He would have been sitting there waiting for a tugboat to come by and uh, tie up, and he would have caught the lines and uh, hopefully gotten a nice little tip. But as it turns out, he got more than that. Nearly 50 years later, there's now a monument of him where he used to sit. There's other characters here, too, like a co-worker named Matty Reynolds, or perhaps a familiar face, the late actor Richard Harris. The photographer stopped into a pub, and uh, there was a rap party for a play that had just been completed, and uh, he came across Dumbledore, Richard Harris. When viewing these photos from Dublin, they may appear just to be random shots, but it's all part of a bigger picture. There really is a rhyme and reason behind all this. They're in stark contrast to what we have from 2003 when we hired another photographer to go back and shoot the same area. And you can really see the difference in poverty to, to the economic success of the early 21st century. So one wall reflects life and times of 1963, and another is 2003. And for some additional Irish history, there's also a museum library named after New York lawyer Paul O'Dwyer. When he passed, his family uh, gave us his collection, and uh, now that we're in the new space, we've tried to create a, uh, a uh, quiet room for people to come and, and read his books and, and study. Next exhibit for the Irish American Heritage Museum, the Irish connection to the Erie Canal as a new location continues to have some old stories. In Albany, I'm Vince Gallagher for YNN.